What's up guys? It's been quite a minute since you've last seen us, um, but today's a special day and I wanted to vlog today. Today is my wife's birthday. Woo! Happy birthday. Hey guys, where are we going? To the hotel! We're going to LA. Faith and I are going to go on a trip to LA. Um, with the kids. With the kids. Yeah. Now, it didn't start off like this. Hey guys, Fernando here. Listen, um, I want to add in a little bit of a commentary here. As I'm editing this, I realize there's a lot of missing information. In fact, in this whole video, you're going to see a lot of uh, input or comments or commentary from me. Um, about just our whole trip. In fact, I was talking to Faith last night that this video, as choppy as it might seem, really is um, really shows you how um, how you can turn things that are choppy or messy into something that's beautiful. And so, um, in this little part, I'm talking about our weekend getaway. Faith and I had something planned. I planned something for Faith's birthday, and. It didn't really exactly work out the way we wanted to. Now this isn't Zeal's fault or anything and, and we would make sure that we didn't say anything that would cause him to like feel bad. But the truth is it was supposed to be just Faith and I, but we tried to turn a unfortunate event into a fun event. And so that's what this is about. We actually, it was just gonna be Faith and I for a nice little getaway. Uh, but my son here wasn't feeling well. He was having a fever. And so we all decided, you know what? Let's all go as a family. Actually, this is her idea, right? <laughs> They're like, what? I asked her and she's like, you know what? I'd rather have my family with me. And I said, all right, whatever makes you happy. And uh, we're gonna go hit up I a mean, nice hotel. I love a long time, but I also love my wife. I know, I know. Notice here she doesn't let that one go. <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna hit up a nice hotel downtown, and uh, yeah. So I think our next stop it might be uh, one of our favorite spots that we like to go. We're not even uh, a minute away, and someone forgot their iPad. I feel like in our house, someone always misses something. Always. If it's not me, it's one of the kids. Uh, but it's usually me or the kids. Faith's pretty good about bringing what she needs. Can you explain to the people watching what a Sour Patch Kid is? Yes, it's when you act really sweet and then you flip and you act mean and that is Sophie. One She's of our so cute, big sweet little puppy dog eyes and then next thing you know she's scratching, ripping hair out, coloring all over the house. Yeah, and laughing about it. Little maniac. But first we gotta get some canes. So why do we always go to a canes? Because we like greasy fast food. Yeah. Don't tell my doctor. Oh, it's my birthday, so it doesn't count. Yeah. I sure. love the lemonade. So I didn't mention this earlier, but earlier that week, our AC went out in the van. We had to get a bunch of stuff uh, worked on the van um, literally like two days before our trip. And unfortunately, the AC uh, was not fixed. Uh, it was just a lot of money. And so we're gonna save up to get that fixed. But in the meantime, I told my wife, hey, we live in Santa Barbara. We don't need AC right now. We can just roll down our windows. It's gonna be beautiful weather. This has to be one of my favorite parts of this trip. I don't know about you, but growing up, I remember when we would travel with my parents, we would stay at random hotels. Uh, most of that, you know, most of the time it was like cheap hotels like Motel 6 or, uh, La Quinta Inn or you know random hotels that we'd find in Texas but man I remember being so excited because it was like I don't know something new and we would love to go around and look at all the things just as my kids are doing now um, we would look at the restrooms we would look at the pool just like a magical trip for us so um, anyways I love I love that my kids get to do that now also and look at them they're all so happy <laughs> Some dinner and then put the kids to bed. Oh man, this part of the trip was funny. Now, before we went to that restaurant, we went to another restaurant that was on the first floor, and it was like this like bougie uh, dinner place called 
uh, La Basque or La Basque, whatever, however you pronounce it, but it's like a Spanish, it's a uh, Spanish restaurant. And so the menu was just like one sheet, right? And, and uh, I don't even remember if it had the prices or not, but I couldn't even pronounce some of the, the dishes and they were in Spanish. So um, quickly, fast, quick and in her, we found out, or I realized this is not kid friendly. And so uh, we felt bad because they had brought us water and Peregrino by that, Pellegrino, Peregrino? Uh, by that time, and we had to, or had to flag down the, the waiter and say, hey, listen, I feel so bad, I'll pay for the water, I'll pay for all of this stuff, but I don't think we're gonna eat here because it's just, it doesn't seem like there's like kid-friendly stuff. And he was like, oh my goodness, I felt, I felt for you guys when you guys came in, I told my manager, this is what the guy's telling us, I told my manager, I don't know if they understand, I don't know if they realize there's no like kid-friendly options, and so we all, agreed yeah let's not eat here so uh, i took my whole family and we went upstairs to the rooftop hotel and i'm so glad that i did i'm glad i advocated because if not i would have been really mad to have paid uh for some bougie food and not be happy but um it ended up working out kind of what do you think ivy Okay. I'm swimming. Uh, swimming. Do you like this hotel? Yes. What do you like about this hotel? I like the <laughs> beds. They're very nice. And I fixed them. Yeah. Are you looking at yourself? <laughs> this video and come back later. Are you ready to go swim? Yeah, please. Show me how you swim. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you swim? Are you ready, buddy? Yeah. How do you swim? She's trying to run. She's <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> she got water and she's flapping on her face. Look at So we're at the Hoxton Hotel in downtown LA. Uh, Faith and I are celebrating her birthday. I was gonna say our anniversary. <laughs> but it's for Faith's birthday. And so um, it's been really fun. Today is um, Saturday, July 15th. And uh, we're gonna hang out here by the pool and then wrap up, get our stuff, and then we're gonna go shopping for Faith's birthday. Because that's what she likes to do. Yep. So here we were going to go to a shopping center called The Block, I think it's called. But um, it didn't really seem that appealing and parking seemed horrible. So we decided to get outside of, of downtown LA and go to Glendale, California, which is not too far away. And uh, so we hit up this like little shopping center. And the first store that we saw was Ross. And of course, we had to go inside of Ross. How do we end up at Ross? That's what I want to know. How do we end up at Ross? Again, we have no AC in our car and it is so hot in our van because the day's getting warmer. By the time we hit Glendale, it was already like 100 degrees and our kids were suffering. And if anything, we were going inside these stores just on purpose just to kind of get away from the heat and get inside of some AC. We are not used to these high temperatures here in Santa Barbara. And so my poor kids, if you see in this, in this footage, um, Sophie's cheeks are so red because it's so hot 
And so um, it was just torture. We ended up eating at Chick-fil-A, uh, getting some food and then heading out towards Santa Barbara. We decided, you know what, let's take a pause. It's not working out here, it's too hot. Oh, also because it's an outside mall, it just didn't work out. So we said, let's just grab our kids and let's go towards uh, Santa Barbara and let's stop at the Camarillo outlets. Well, after a couple of hours um, of trying to shop at the Camarillo outlets, we finally gave up. Now, for a couple of reasons. One, we were all tired by that point. We had all kind of gone all over the place and, and being in the heat without AC in your cars, man, really beats you up. Man, I think about when I was younger, I don't know how we did it, but I remember not having AC in our cars. Whew, I was reminded of how bad that is. Um, shout out to all of you guys who are running around in cars without AC, God bless you. So anyways, we tried, we walked around, and if you've ever been to any outlets, you know it's just a bunch of walking. And so um, Faith and I just decided, you know what, this, let's, let's try shopping at another time. And really, I was so sad for Faithy because I wanted her to take some time to shop for her birthday, and, uh, but the kids were fussy, they were hungry, they were tired, and honestly, all of us were tired. So I decided, you know what, let's go, let's get some ice cream, let's get everybody happy again, and let's go back home. So finally, we got home on Saturday evening and everybody was just so tired. Um, again, Zeal was not feeling well on Friday and on Saturday, Faith and I started not feeling too well. I don't know if it was because we were tired, dehydrated or sick, but um, all of us were not feeling well. But ultimately, I was talking to my wife about all of this later. We were talking on Sunday that it was hard not to be a little bit, feel a little bit jaded that, um, you know, I had planned this trip to just be Faith and I, and then ultimately we had to take the kids. But you know, obviously it's not the kids' fault, things happen. But Faith and I were just reflecting on, you know, Faith and I can go on a date any other time. We can get a babysitter and take a date. But those moments with the kids, those moments of, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> Uh, suffering in the heat or rejoicing in the pool or jumping up and down on a fancy hotel bed like those are core memories and moments that I'll never get again and especially at their age so all in all we learn to roll with the punches and just enjoy each other's company now I will follow up and I will do a, a date a proper date with my wife and I'll bring you guys along but um, ultimately it was a nice weekend and uh, I don't know it's just a reminder again that sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches, uh, learn to discern what wars to fight or what battles to fight, and just learn that, you know, things might not come the way that we wanted them to come, but sometimes these gifts can turn out to be blessings. And so we enjoyed our time together. We had fun as a family, uh, heat and all, but it was all, all good. So anyways, that's it for today's video. I just wanted to catch you guys up on a little bit of a trip of ours. Stay tuned, we have more videos. I, I know, I know, I'm a little bit behind on some videos since the last time I spoke about, I was gonna upload some videos, but I promise I have some videos coming your way about some uh, updates on my health, uh, ministry stuff, some dreams that Faith and I have, and some practical things for you guys who are all interested in ministry, technology, and family. All right, love you guys, talk to you soon.